we're going to close here in just a minute. I want to introduce one more person who will dismiss us. And I want to introduce you to the uh, new executive director. He came to us in March from Oklahoma. He was the executive director of the Chisholm Trail Museum in Duncan, Oklahoma. And I'm going to ask Bill Benson if you will come up, please, and give us a little bit more information and dismiss us. And I think we got the machine working if anybody wants to buy anything. Yes, there are ornaments and other things for sale in the lobby. Feel like I'm in church. We're going to be dismissed shortly. Uh, welcome and thanks all of you for coming out here this evening. It's been very fascinating uh, to all of us and for you people that have lived in Sugar Land. What a fascinating and hit, uh, phenomenal history you have. Keep in mind, this is part of what the new museum will be all about. Only it's going to focus on people, it's going to focus on the different ethnic groups that made a part, played a part in this whole thing. It's going to talk about the changes, and I will say that I was shocked when I came from Duncan to Sugarland. Uh, Sugarland is a baby town compared to most towns, consider, compared to Richmond, which was 175 years old. Sugarland didn't become a incorporated city until 1959. And look at the difference. That shows you what people and leadership can do in various areas of the country. Folks, uh, the Sugarland Heritage Foundation is dedicated to building a fascinating, entertaining, interactive museum for you and your children and your grandchildren. We want to save this heritage. Talked to several here tonight that were in here when they were like five and six years old. And it's a wonder. And we have, I suspect that each of us, whether we know it or not, have a task of preserving our heritage for our future generations. So we are looking for volunteers as we move along with our new facility. We are looking for people with history, knowledge. Bruce is such an asset. Chuck is such a wonderful asset. <laughs> I, and I will say from the standpoint of a, a board of directors, Bruce, I cannot tell you how valuable he is and how tireless he is in helping us and going and putting so much together and so much effort. This whole Chautauqua series uh, is going to grow and uh, we are looking at adding subjects that will really be exciting and fascinating. Betty back there, she's hiding. But she is a valuable asset also to our board of directors. Volunteers are important. Your knowledge is important. If you go to our website, you'll see where it says, tell your story. Let's capture that before it's gone. So many of us have lost someone that only they could have shared certain things with us. Let's don't let that slip away from us. It's vital to our future. Uh, please go back in the back and take a look. We have uh, some wonderful displays. Also, I want to uh, compliment uh, Amanda. She's taken on a real tough job to be the executive director of this facility, but it's a beautiful place. So let's see if we can't help uh, really utilize this to the fullest extent. Please go back and look at the different items we have. She also has a number of wonderful uh, items that you can purchase. Also, come and see us, like some of you already have. I recognize a lot of faces. Susan Wagner, look at her back there. Uh, so, uh, you are dismissed. <laughs>